Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere? Also the Exam Scam series of certification guides, including the very popular Sun Certified Java Associate um, Exam Scam Certification Guide. I'd really love it if you headed over to pulpjava.com or examscam.com, technical facility, and picked up a couple of copies of my book uh, off me off my website. Also available on Amazon, but uh, I always get them out faster if you buy them off our website. Anyways, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about right now was just handling user input um, with a, a servlet or a JSP, specifically a servlet right here. Um, and what I'd like to do, I'm going to move to the web perspective, I'm going to create a, a simple HTML file inside of the webinf folder, sorry, web content folder, uh, a new little HTML file that uh, takes input from the user. And essentially what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to pick a number from between 1 and 10. So, ask the user. Pick a number between 1 and 10. And uh, what it's going to use is it's going to use a form. So use forms to take input from the user. And specifically I'm going to add in here a text field. And uh, maybe 10 columns along this text field. It's going to be called guest. This is hugely important. Uh, I'm going to throw a little submit button in there. Insert form and input fields. Submit button. This is going to ask a user to enter in a number between 1 and 10. And uh, they'll do that in here. Click submit. And we'll tell them whether they've pick the lucky number. Now we'll pick a, generate a random number and tell them if they've picked a, the right one or not. Now, a couple of things that's important. Um, one is when we have a form like this one here, we actually like to, to use a, a HTTP POST invocation. Um, yeah, there's a couple of reasons for that, but I'm not going to get into it here. Uh, the standard is GET, like clicking on a URL is a GET, typing something into a, a an address bar is a HTTP GET method. With forms, you typically like to use uh, POST invocations. And so I'm going to say method equals POST. And every form has to be submitted to something that's going to handle that form. And that's the action of the form. And here I'm going to create a, a servlet in a minute called the number guesser servlet. And uh, that servlet is going to be designed to find out what the guess is that the user makes. Um, and uh, tell them whether the number they guessed is the magic number or not. I also got a little error message there. That error message is because I haven't created the servlet yet, so no better time than the present. So I'm going to go into my com.examscam.servlet package, create a new, I can go new other web servlet. Name is going to be the number guesser servlet. Uh, it's going to, geez, it's going to be the com.examscam.servlet package. And it's going to have a do post method to handle the post invocation, but it is not going to have a do get method. Um, we only want this to be invoked when somebody submits a form, not uh, when they type the name of the servlet into a URL or bookmark it or something like that. So anyways, that creates the, the servlet. Now, my error should have gone inside this code here, where it used to give us a problem with the number guesser server. We've created it, so we shouldn't have a broken link there. And look at all these comments. Does, do people still comment their code? I guess they do. Um, essentially what I want to do is uh, figure out a magic number between 1 and 10, and find out if the user guessed that number. So I'm going to create a new magic number long magic number equals system dot current time millis. I don't know, percentage by nine added to one and then concatenated as a string. Kind of a lazy way to do that, but I like it. And uh, you know, I'll make that a string. Why not? Okay, and then we'll say if Okay, then we'll get the guess from the user. So string guess equals. Okay, now we want to find out what the user typed into the text field over here. Let's take a look at it. We want to know what they typed into this text field. 
That text field in the HTML form has the name guess. Anything you want to know about the client you get out of the request object. Okay, so the request object describes the request that's coming in. What we want to do is we want to know what they typed into that text field called guess. And so we use a special method called getParameter which gives us anything that's been typed into this HTML form. Um, we give the name of that particular field, which is guess, and this will return a string to us, which we will uncreatively call guess, um, and we can take that and see if it equals the magic number. So if guess dot equals magic number, they're strings, so we have to use dot equals, um, do something. So we'll say, I'll do something to the client, you do that through the response object. So we'll say response dot get writer dot print. Um, if the guess equals magic numbers, correct. The magic number was, and then, I don't know, add on there the magic number. And that with a semicolon. Otherwise, what do we do? We'll say to the user, did I do there? If their guess is incorrect, we'll say, um, sorry, the magic number was, and then again, plus magic number. Maybe we should tell the user to try again or something like that. But. And that's basically it. So the idea is we have an HTML form. When someone clicks submit on this HTML form, whatever was typed into this text field here, gets sent to the server, and that input is attached to this name guess. The server over here pulls that out, again using the exact same name that was used in the HTML form, guess, name equals guess, um, and then we do some logic. Okay, so I mean you could be saving this to a database, comparing against a username, um, this could be the number of books they want to buy off your website, something like that. It doesn't matter, it's just a matter of taking input from the user. We take this input, we do some logic on it, and eventually we send sort of response back to the user. Now, you probably want a, a JSP page to be doing that kind of output, but for our situation it works. And so I'm just going to try and test this, I'm going to do a, a file save all, so it looks like everything's saved. I'm going to right click on my number guesser and say run on server. Eventually this will come up and I'm going to put in the number 5, click submit. Sorry, the magic number was 9. Try it again. Correct, the magic number was 5. I don't know, what statistically was the odds of that number coming up? One out of two times with 10 different numbers. That was pretty amazing. But anyways, that's the basic idea of where you have form input sending that input to a, a servlet, having that servlet read that information, and dynamically do something with it. Something that's not possible with just a normal HTML page, unless I guess you're using JavaScript or something like that. But anyways, that's how you take user input from the client. Now, as I said, um, please go to my website, pulpjava.com or examscam.com. And uh, again, we'd really love it if you picked up a copy of some of our certification guides or what is WebSphere directly from our website. Um, we usually ship them out the next day. We always try and keep them in stock. Um, and sometimes you can get a little bit of a discount if you buy them from our website as well. Again, also available on amazon.com. But your best bet is always to buy them off us. So that's about it for taking input from the user right now. I just want to sign off by saying happy WebSphere.